guys what is going on it's another beautiful Sunday and it's actually afternoon I had a camping trip this weekend and I'm finally getting to this video but I was flipping through well actually before we go any farther uh, hit that subscribe button guys it, it helps me out so um, I was flipping through Palmetto State Armory looking at handguns and they had a handgun clearance out regularly $4.99 down to $2.89 and it's this SDS Imports. This is the Zigna PX9G2. So, let's open this up. It comes in a nice plastic case. I, I did go out and shoot this gun. I've been limited on my range time. Uh, great case. Really cool case. Let's check this out. So, in this case, you get the handgun. And let's take this mag out. Uh, and we'll talk about the mags here in a minute, but you get a handgun with a holster with a good retention. It's a little, little loose, but not a not a huge deal. Um, it does have the retention button for your trigger finger. So you get a holster, you get a speed loader. Check this out. You even get a, a mag well. Um, <laughs> pretty neat. Uh, you get a mag well. What else do you get with this? doohickey you get the the belt that you can either wear inside the waistband you know clip it in or run your belt through there let's see what else we get in here you get the little cleaning accessories those look like side straps yep they're little modules you can pop these side straps off and put other ones on the way it came out of the box I mean it feels pretty darn good it I mean if you guys look at it let's it's got a heck of a spring on it mm, great I'm gonna put a mag in it's clear y'all can see that the little orange thing you got stuck in there there we go if you guys check this out it it looks a lot like a Springfield Ar Armory XDM but let's let's see what else is in the we'll open this up so people don't flip out so you got some side straps that you can tinker with you got some back straps you can tinker with and I do not see the book but I'm willing to bet you it's gonna be under one of these doohickeys not that one there it is the book Cool. Guys, like we say on every video, read your book. Flip through there. Parts list in case something breaks. So I, it was $4.99 regular price, clearance out to $2.89. Now let's take a closer look at the pistol. I mean, it's still got the tag on it, the PX9. It includes holster, loader, interchangeable backstrap, 18 plus one capacity. So I live in a state, Colorado, you're not allowed to have more than 15 rounds in a mag. So this gun actually also takes six hours P226 9mm mags. So this is a 226 six hour. I don't know if it'll focus on the six hour part. There we go. Focus on the six hour. Fits somewhat right in there. And, uh, I mean, it functioned just fine with these mags. It, I ran four different, three different types of ammo, I'm sorry. Three different types of ammo, and even my my super light, crappy reloads that everybody likes to comment on, it ran those just fine. Totally black sights. The rear is fully adjustable. Um, just very, very, very similar to an XDM. Four-inch barrel, safety on it. I mean, it's just a plain Jane point and shoot gun, guys. Load indicator on it. It's pretty nice. Um, I like them on the back, to be honest with you, because then I'll, I know. Um, I mean, if you honestly, if you don't really know that it's loaded or unloaded, then you're not paying enough attention. It shoots well. Um, it shoots just like, or I, I shoot it just like any other striker fired pistol, low and left. Let's check out the trigger. It's got a lot of take up. Little creep, little creep, little creep, boom. There it goes. Let's see what the trigger gauge says on this bad boy. Uh, 
All right, so make sure we're ready to go. And we'll go as far down on the bottom as we'll let it go. It's creeping, it's creeping, it's creeping. 511, let's do it one more time. Shooting it, it didn't have a horrible trigger by any means, but it does have a lot of creep. Five ten. I mean, let's do it one more time, just for fun. I mean, they're super close. That was some of the most consistent two pulls we've had on this channel. Five eleven. Look at that. So clearance out to two eighty nine. Regularly four ninety nine. If you're looking for a whole package right out of the box, if you live in a state that they'll shoot send the mags to you, check out this SDS import, the Zigna PX nine. Uh, I don't have anything poor to say about it. It's, it doesn't have the greatest trigger. It does what it's made to do, point and shoot, guys. Decent little pistol, especially if you can find it for $289. I don't know if Palmetto State Armory still has it for $289, but I'll put the link on there. Hit that subscribe button, and you guys enjoy your Sunday afternoon. We'll see you next week. All right, guys. <laughs> We have the Zigna PX9. It's close to the, it's like an XDM clone. It, it really resembles, closed, it really resembles a Springfield Armory XDM. This one's got the rear adjustable sight. Um, it does have a safety. So I'm gonna try some 115 grain factory loads and then I'm gonna try my reloads through it. So let's see how it, uh, how it functions with factory. Brand new, never been shot. Uh, now, disclaimer, these do this is the SIG 226, 6 hour 226, P226 mags. When they shipped this gun, it didn't come with the mags because they're 18 round capacity. So we'll see how good it does. Oh, empty. I was holding the bar down, a little flinch there. So let's go look at the target real quick. So just like most striker fired, I shoot low left. I mean, not bad grouping, but I shoot low left. And let's uh, come back and we'll shoot some, some, see if it'll function with the reloads here. So these are my reloads. Let's see what it does here. And I'll move my thumb this time so I'm not. Hey, 15 rounds with my crappy reloads. I love the crappy reload comment. And it's still low left. I did have, I did throw two of them, but shooting low left that for uh, MSRP and uh, Palmetto Armory had this gun for 500 bucks, but it was clearanced out for 280. That's why I bought it. The trigger feels good. A lot of creep in it. Um, it's got black on black sights, but it shoots pretty darn well. I'm going to adjust these and play with it, but I'm not sure how much I'm going to show you guys of, of shooting it, you know. Uh, but it functions just fine. 30 rounds through it. I'm going to try to get 100 through it. And uh, we'll talk about it on the bench. 